Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, a little bit of everything with Erin. Today we'll be doing a quick tutorial using Silhouette Studio. I have designer edition, but it should not matter which edition you have. Someone had emailed and asked about using the puzzle panel and wanted to know which edition you needed to use that. So you do have to have designer edition plus or the business edition to actually use the puzzle panel. But if you don't have that, you don't have to worry. You can still make a puzzle if you wanted to. If you go to Google and just type in puzzle templates, lots of different puzzle designs will come up for you. Find one that would best fit the image that you want to use and bring it into studio. And I've gone ahead and selected this one. You'll then want to trace that by going to the image that kind of looks like a butterfly and hit select trace area. And then you'll put a square, rectangle, whatever around that image. Now, if your lines aren't completely black, you or excuse me, yellow, you want to make sure that those are very good in color. So you would do that by pushing up your threshold. I'm just going to bump it up to 75 and that looks better. So I will hit trace. First, get rid of the one that you traced. We don't need that anymore. And then you'll want to ungroup the one that you made. So in this case, we will release compound path. We don't need the square that's back there. You can always keep this if you plan on using it as a background or making a tray, but in this sense, we don't need it. Then we'll take the image we're going to use. So first we want to make sure that she fits in there properly. And that's a pretty decent fit. So I'm going to leave that as it is. Then we want to click on her right click and bring to front. We want her to be in the front of the image. And then we will highlight everything, all the puzzle pieces and the image that we're using. And then on the right hand panel, you want to go to the modify panel and hit divide. And then depending on how big the image is and how much it has to work, this can take a few minutes to go through its process. Okay, so now it is done. And you can see that these are all separate puzzle pieces. Now to make sure they're right, you can highlight everything again and just change the cut line color so it's something that you can see. You can see each puzzle piece now and they move. Now you can see on this three and these two, they move as one and that's because when we traced it, the yellow lines were probably touching a little bit. So the 75 was probably a little too high. You can always take the knife function and just cut that, or you can change how you traced it so that it's not um, touching. So I would do less than the 75. But again, we just use the knife really quick just to fix it. Anyway, I hope that answered your question. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Share it if you want to. That always helps me out. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And if you hit that bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. Sorry there's been a little bit of a lag the last couple weeks in videos. My job has just been taking so much of me right now. We don't have a lot of employees, so I'm kind of working a little too much. But hopefully here in a bit we'll get right back to our regular schedule. I thank you all for keeping up with me. I appreciate it. All right, guys, until next time, happy crafting.